because I have another event to go to and I can't go over there hungry because that just won't go well. in my morning routine which is pretty extensive but I love it because it's just like you know a slow way to start the morning so I wash my face clean my mouth I'm using drunk elephant C firma day serum just as a serum to put under my moisturizer well I shouldn't even say moisturizer because I'm using retinal cream this morning and when I put on retinal cream I typically don't do moisturizer so this is a written replacement of my moisturizer this morning but yes, I'm feeling good today. I need to drink some water and some coffee. I usually like to drink like a bottle of water before I have a cup of coffee, just because one of my acid reflex and then two, just to make sure that, you know, my body, my body <laughs> is running on water and not just on caffeine. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to get into my morning word. I like to read the word using the pivot and the prism method. I've shared a little bit about that on YouTube. I mean, not on YouTube, on Instagram. My friend Keeks put me onto it and it's been such a game changer for me. It's just like a nice interactive way to read the Bible um, and also to reflect on what's been happening in your world and your life and what God is saying to you. So I'm gonna be doing that this morning. If you guys wanna know about the pivot and the prison method, let me know and I'll share it. But um, yeah, and so I'm gonna be doing that and then I have three events to go to today. I have one beauty event, one natural hair slash beauty event, and then I have like um, another kind of industry event with my friend that he invited me to. So I'm just gonna have a very calm, lax morning because the rest of today is gonna be nuts. I'm also gonna try and edit yesterday's vlog so that I can have it up by the time you see this one. And hopefully it'll be here so you can just click right here to see yesterday's vlog. And then yeah. Alright, so I'm getting ready to head out now. I am running just a little behind, but that's okay. We have a lot going on today. So my first stop is at the C.T. Tilbury. I think that's the name of it. The event, um, it's like a makeup beauty event. So I'm gonna go there now. It's like 3.40, 3.45. I said I was gonna be there at four, but I'm not far. I'm about 25 to 30 minutes away. So I just put this like cute little shirt sweater thing on because this weather here in New York is so confusing and I hate being cold. And I'm also gonna bring a jacket and then I have black jeans on and um, some booties. So yeah, I'm about to head out now. What was it? Say your name one more time. Tegan. Tegan, she's letting me know so much about this beautiful makeup and skincare line we had here. the products here. 
Wait, well, you gotta tell them what you're doing. What are you doing right now? So we are engraving. Okay, we're engraving. Okay. In gold. In gold. So we're pressing into the leather. We're pressing into the leather. Heat plus pressure. 251 degrees? 251 degrees. Wow. this little cupcake thing that they got me it's not a cupcake it's like a strawberry shortcake but um i think i'm just gonna head to get some pizza because i have another event to go to and i can't go over there hungry because that just won't go well so i'm trying to find a pizzeria right now on 11th street in hudson so let's see what we find uh, we got sausage and a plane. Our sausage one plane. And to me, it's always been very bizarre that the industry as a whole has just been like, okay, after you're 35, then like you're dead and you don't matter. <laughs> because women over 35 have the money to be buying these expensive yes, Hello? They do. things. <laughs> right, like you have the money to be buying these like million dollar creams and like treating yourself to all these things. But yet Guys, I just got home. I just put my hair up in a pineapple because I was walking from the train and I was getting hot and all the things. But can I move this back? I really need to get my wide lens. Oh, mm -mm. I need to get my wide lens because I just feel like this camera can be so close sometimes. But um, that should work, <sighs> guys. This last event, first of all, I went. I came from the first event, which was a good time. It was like a small venue, so I wasn't there for too long. I was there for like forty-five minutes, and the next event was a panel. So I was just like, you know, I'm gonna go in, network, listen to the people speak engage in good conversation and that be it oh my gosh this panel was so impactful so the panel was basically about ageism and the beauty industry um especially as it pertains to like social media content creation and all the things and i can't even begin to tell you just like all the revelation i was getting while i was there just from like connecting with people um and then like you know god telling me certain things and it happening in those moments but also like there was this woman, her name on Instagram is um, Icon Accidental and she used to do social work and now she's a content creator and she's, you know, an older woman and she was just so inspiring to me. So during the panel, I asked her a question about reinventing herself in a space that is just like ever evolving and so quick. 
and her husband came up to me after the panel and he was like listen i heard your question i thought it was just a great question and i want to let you know x y and z so he gave me some words of wisdom just in working with her because he's actually her photographer he takes her photos and then she came and so all three of us were having a conversation for like a good hour like we got lost in conversation and i just feel so grateful to have that conversation because i mean from like from just her telling her story to her and I sharing, um, having a social service background and a heart for people, and then also understanding the industry that we're in and that we love so much and bringing our skills from our previous careers into this one. Like, it was just so impactful. And she's just such a beautiful person, a beautiful woman, a creative. Uh, her husband, like, is so such an honorable man. And I just felt like, wow, it was one of those things where it's like, wow, God, you really wanted me here to meet this woman, to have this conversation at this exact moment of my life with everything that I have going on. So I just felt so full after leaving that. Like, honestly, I didn't even stay too long to speak to anyone else. I spoke to a few people before the panel and then I sat down and, you know, I conversed with a few people. But that was like that was that was enough for me. Like after that, I was like, all right, let me go to the bathroom, uh, make my last rounds. And then I left and I came home because I was like, that's just the perfect way to end the night. I don't need to speak to anyone else. You know, I got what I needed out of this. So it was just such a reminder that like, I'm here, I'm in the right place. I'm doing what I need to do. And that, you know, things are still good. There are still good people in the world. There's still good causes. Yeah, people can say what they want about the beauty industry, about the social media industry, but like, they're still good, you know? And that was just a reminder of that, but also a reminder to show up in other ways outside of beauty because there's longevity in wellness. There's longevity in showing up in the things that you love to do, whether it's writing, blogging, all the things. I mean, I can ramble on for hours, but the point is that like, Sometimes God will have you go to places alone, which that's a whole vlog for another day. God has a thing about, like, I'll invite people to come with me places. And for certain events, people will just not show up or, like, not be able to make it. And it's just everything happens on purpose. And I'm so grateful for when he does this because moments like this happen, which I know wouldn't have happened if I was with, you know, like, a friend or something. So... I'm just so grateful, man. I'm so grateful. I love the place that I'm in in my life. I feel like so alive. That's the first time. Like I was thinking about that. And today is the first time that I've said that to describe like a season of my life. And it's a powerful word. I just feel so alive. I feel lively. I feel right on time. I feel good. You know, like, I mean, I've said that at the start of all of this, but like right now, I feel good, I feel alive, and I'm so grateful. And I know I'm rambling. How many minutes are we on at this point? Yeah, I'm definitely rambling, so <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just, man, I, I, I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little NYC uh, influencer industry event vlog. I have another event to go to, but it's more like a, like my friend is a photographer and he invited me to an industry event, so it's more of like a chill vibe. So I'm just going to go do that, enjoy that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments below if you did. If you want to come with me behind the scenes more to these events, please let me know. And yeah, make sure that you're subscribed, that you follow me on Instagram. And I will see you in the next video. Later.